What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model pretty much any shape of a staircase that you want in Revit and we're going to be using uh, doing this by using the stairs and create sketch tool. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And in this tutorial, I'm actually just going to be talking about the shape of the stairs. So here I've got this weird shape and uh, you can create any type of shape of stairs by using this tool. But if you're actually interested, interested in the design of the stair, like something like this, I suggest you check out my advanced stairs tutorial that I've got up on my Patreon. It's the tutorial or advanced course for this week. So check it out first link in the description and you can get access to the full one hour course. Okay, so let's get started with this uh, weird stair design. So here I've got this kind of weird Z-shaped uh, stair design and maybe if I remove the, the railing it will look better. Yeah, so this is really not, uh, I, I wouldn't call it an order ordinary staircase, but uh, it can be modeled in Revit and I'm just going to be showing you how to do something like this. So let's delete this for the beginning and let's start off from sketch from scratch. So here I am in level one and before we create uh, a staircase by sketch, uh, I suggest you first figure out what your staircase is going to look like and not leave that for when in the stair tool. So I suggest you go with either with a model line or here on the annotate tab you have detail line so you can use that as well. So for this one I'm just going to use the model line so let me just zoom in a bit. And let's create a rectangle that's, I don't know, something like 300 by 120. So this is going to be that center part of the staircase. Uh, then maybe let's select the whole thing. Go CO for copy, copy it off to the side. Maybe make this one a bit smaller. So maybe go with, I don't know, 120. Okay, so let's go with something like this and I'm just going to rotate it a bit by, I don't know, something like 60 degrees. Yeah, like that. And now let's just move it. MV is the shortcut for move. Yeah, place it kind of like that. Okay, so we're going to have one segment over here and one segment over here. So first let's add the individual steps. So for that, again, go here into the model line tool. I'm just going to use pick lines with an offset of 30 centimeters because it, all of the steps are going to be 30 centimeters. So just go like this. You can use the array tool if it's a bit quicker, but it's the, there's not that many stairs, so who cares? Okay, now I'm just going to select this whole element mirror it so just go DM for draw mirror or for drawing an axis and make sure that copy is on for the first mirror so just go mirror like this okay now go draw mirror again or pick axis uh, one of those let's go with pick axis now so just go with this one and now uncheck this copy so when you mirror it to the other side yeah it's not going to leave two of those okay so now let's go with trim and extend and trim and extend this part and trim and extend this part. Okay, now let's maybe fill it these edges. So for that, again, go into the model line tool, go with fillet edge, uh, let's go with a radius of 40. Click once, click twice, there you go. Do the same thing on the other side, yeah. Now let's go with a radius of 160, okay. Click once, click twice, there you go. Click once, click twice, there you go. Okay, so once we have these in place, now we can delete these two lines. Uh, there's actually going to be, uh, it's actually going to look a bit different. And now let's use trim and extend and trim and extend this and do the same thing on the other side. Now go back to model line and just go with the line like this and make sure that it's at 20 uh, degrees. One more over here that's at 40 degrees. So we have something that looks like this. Then you can kind of reduce it. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so once we have those, let's return these to their original position and do the same thing on the other side. So model line, or if you hover over it, as you can see, the shortcut is LI for model line. So I can just type in LI and there we go. So this one should be, if this is at 120, this one should be at 140. Uh, I'm talking about this angle over here. 
So 140 like that, and one at 160. There we go. Let's reduce it. Reduce it here. Do the same thing on the other side. So we're creating that curvature, that Z curve, like that, and there we go. Uh, now, I've got a staircase like this, now uh, let's count the steps. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, we need a couple of more steps. I kind of miscalculated. So let me go here into model line and just do a line like this and a line like this. So this one is at 30, so that's all right. Let's just trim and extend this and do the same thing on the other side, but we have to kind of adjust this distance to 30. And there we go. Now we have 23 steps or risers. And now the reason why I went with 23 risers is before this, I uh, went into the, st into the stair tool and I just went with the monolithic stair and uh, here I scrolled down and here for the dimensions, as you can see, the desired number of risers for this current level height from level one to level two, as you can see here, base level is level one, top level is level two. So what Revit offers us as the desired number of risers is 23. So that's why uh, that's why I have 23 risers over here. I just checked this before this tutorial, so that's how I got that number. So what I suggest you do, maybe first go into the stair tool, check that number out, then escape the stair tool, create this sketch, go back to the stair tool, and now we can start creating our stair. It's important to have a sketch, it's just going to make it a lot easier and it's easier to play around with the model lines than with these uh, sketch lines uh, within the stair tool. Okay, so now let's get started in turning this uh, ugly sketch into a cool looking staircase. So for that, uh, we need to go here for a run and I also I suggest you go with the monolithic stair. Okay, the assembled stair can work, also the precast stair, but the monolithic stair is, well, it's monolithic, it's one piece of concrete. I think it fits this shape probably the best, in the best way. Okay, so let's go with the monolithic stair. And then here, instead of going with a run, or uh, with this regular straight run, or one of those options, here we have this create sketch. And by using this, uh, it's going to allow us to create this cool looking, uh, z-shaped staircase so first we need to create a boundary now boundary is only these outside lines also you can consider uh, the boundary something like the stringers those uh, construction elements on both either side of the staircase so that's the boundary so I'm just going to use the pick lines tool because we already have these lines so just pick this boundary like that and then you do it on this on the other side just make sure you don't select any of the risers accidentally. And don't close it like this, it's not going to work. So you have to have it open at both ends. Okay, the next thing is we need to create risers. So you just follow this uh, natural hierarchy. So first the boundary, then the risers, then the stair path. I think that's the, the best way to uh, go about it. So let's go with risers. Again, is pick lines. And here the important part is to follow this text over here. So it says uh, zero risers created. 23 remaining. So when I click once, now it's going to say one riser created, 22 remaining. So just take a look at that. And if, if in any case, when you create a new riser and, oops. Okay, and if you click on a riser and here the number doesn't change, then that means you have a problem. So just for each riser, make sure you keep an eye on that number and it needs to rise after every click. So if it doesn't uh, change, if the number stays the same, even though you created a new line, that means that Revit isn't recognizing that line as a riser and there's a problem with your staircase that you need to kind of change. Okay, now it says 23 created, a zero remaining. That's, that's always good to hear. And let's go with the stair path. Now for the stair path, in order to create it in an accurate way, you need to start off from the bottom and then work your way, way up. So because we have this kind of a weird uh, shape, you can either go with arcs or you can just go straight. So you just go straight like this and then hit escape or uncheck this chain. Then you go here straight up and then you go here straight to the end. Then you go es click escape, go into trim and extend, just TR and trim and extend these lines. So just go like that. 
Now you might want to go with uh, with a fillet tool, but actually you don't really have to. And just make sure you're, that you're here on stair path. So here I messed up a bit, so let's go back. So when you go here uh, and you start any of these again, it's going to go first to boundary, so make sure you switch to uh, stair path and then you can maybe create a fillet. This should be, if this is 40, this is 160, this should be somewhere in the half, which is like 120, 100. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, let's go with 100. Again, it says boundary, let's go with stair path. And here, uh, maybe for radius, let's go with 100. Okay, there we go. So we've got our stair path, we've got our risers, we've got our boundary. So all of the elements of the stairs are created. So now we only have to hit finish to finish the stair. Hit finish one more time. Wait for a second for Revit to calculate everything. And now if we go into 3D, you can see we've already created our staircase. Now what you can do is you can select everything, go here into filter, go with check none, then check uh, maybe these lines, hit apply, OK, and then just hit delete to remove all of those ugly lines. And there we go, we've got our monolithic stair, our Z-shaped stair, and you can use pretty much this tool to create pretty much any shape of stair. Actually, in one tutorial I created this weird warped staircase uh, using this tool, and it looks kind of like this. And if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description as well, as well as some other stair tutorials that I have created so far. And if you want to get the full advanced stair uh, course where you learn to create all sorts of these interesting types of staircases that uh, that aren't only a weird shape, but they also are of a weird type, the weird construction, weird materials, and it all looks very nice. And if you want to learn that, again, as I said, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. For only $15 a month, you can get access to all of my advanced courses, and for $5 a month, you'll get access to all of my project files, like this staircase that I just created. If you want it, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Okay, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.